calling in for scriptures or advice about overcoming food addiction or sugar addiction? Um, well, I would just come and write to my mind real quickly is uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. Uh, it includes your body. Uh, we have the science to give us what is a healthy diet. And uh, so uh, I would, you know, balance your diet out and, and avoid those particular uh, foods that are destructive to your body. If uh, you, people like to eat a lot of sugar or sugary sodas or, or foods and so forth, uh, you know, reduce it down. And then uh, if you want to eliminate it completely, it's just take self-discipline. Uh, the Bible does say we reap what we sow. If you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. You sow to the spirit, reap everlasting life. Uh, there are certain uh, good kosher foods that you can eat and so on. And and you realize that they're they're healthy for the body and and so on. Now, I, I must say I am a good steak eater. I like to eat steak. But I, I reduce my intake of any kind of sugary items personally. It's not good for this uh, uh, situation I'm in, which I have a cancer in me right now, and it's, they tell you don't eat a whole lot of sugary foods. And so I reduced it way down and pretty much eliminated a lot of it. But uh, just uh, get a good, healthy diet and read, read uh, things on it, and you'll be fine. Mike, I'll give it to you, yeah. to you. You know, I read a thing that said the average person eats more sugar in one week, more sugar in one week than the pilgrims ate in an entire year. That tells you our addiction to sugar. And no, it's, I don't believe it's very good for you. It turns to acidic and cancer loves that. Andrea, yep. there's a lot of books on that, and I would recommend that to you.